Hello, welcome to my video. I'm Arya Mahluji. I'm studying Master of Computer Science in Shmalkalden University of Applied Sciences. In this video, I want to present one of my latest projects called Analysis of Bayern Munich Team Matches. For this project, I extracted the data of 272 matches from 2013 to 2021. The main purposes of this project are determining the goal distribution against opponents and evaluating the substitutions based on their effect on scoring or receiving goals. Before looking at the project, I want to mention that the backend of the project is written in Python using Jupyter Notebook and the frontend is implemented with Ionic Framework using VS Code Editor. Now let's start talking about the project itself. First of all, we have a login page, uh, which you can also switch to the register mode. And it is a kind of fake login page, but just after filling the blanks, you can login into the app then uh, there is the name of the supervisor and developer and also the title of the project in the top left side of the screen we have a menu icon by clicking on it there are three different options and a logout button and first of all i want to talk about the overall performance option uh, in this option uh, I provided you with the overall implement uh, with the overall performance of the Bayern Munich against different teams or opponents. There are 25 uh, unique opponents, and you can search for them. And as you can see, the list is binded uh, to this text field. And after choosing the opponent, you will observe a pie chart representing the basic information of uh, the history of matches between Bayern Munich and Dortmund, the number of won, lost and draw matches. Below the pie chart we have two ionic chip cards uh, saying that in which period uh, Bayern Munich had highest chance of a scoring or receiving goal. For instance, it says that in the last 15 minutes of first half, Bayern Munich has the highest chance of a scoring goal, while in the first 15 minutes of the first half, Bayern Munich has highest chance of receiving goal. By clicking on each of them, you can see the goals distribution uh, in different periods as we divided each match into six 15 minutes periods and also the same functionality for the received goals. After this overall performance section, we have a scorers section. In this section, the players who are called top scorers are sorted based on the number of goals they scored against the opponent, meaning Borussia Dortmund. As you can see, the Robert Lewandowski is on the top of the list and Thomas Muller is the second one, and the more, uh, the more you scroll down, and the less number of goals you see. After this section, we have substitutions section. In this section, we sorted substitution based on a overall evaluation number, and this number, the method that we reached this number for each of the substitutions is related to backend uh, but I only as a brief reference I can say that the events occurred after these uh, substitutions are involved in calculating this number uh, also there are two modes descending and ascending and here there are some basic information about each substitution 
uh, the minute, the overall evaluation number, a text here which refers to result of the match before and after substitutions, and also a question mark here. By clicking on the last to last as an example, it says that result before substitution was 0 by 1 and result after substitution was 0 by 3. It means that after the substitution, Bayern received two goals. Now you need to clarify that to what extent this substitution was effective on changing the result. That's the functionality of this question icon here. By clicking on it, again, you have some basic information about the substitution, saying that the role of the players who were substituted, here both of them were goalkeeper, and a text, a brief text, which is auto-generated based on the events occurred after the uh, substitution. It says that Bayern Munich received two goals after this sub and two of them were received immediately. Immediately means less than 15 minutes after substitution. And let's, let's take a look at this one too. Here the player who came in was Zule. The player who came out was Matt Hummels. And the minute was 66. Uh, the position before substitution was won, after substitution it was lost. And so, you know, 2 by 1, Bayern Munich was ahead, but the final result is 3 by 2, a lost position for Bayern Munich. And by clicking on the question mark, question icon, you will see that Bayern Munich received two goals after this sub, and two of them were received immediately. So that's why this substitution is regarded as a kind of bad substitution. And let's change to a descending mode. But before that, please take a look at this uh, calculation number and this calculator icon, which is red and it represents a bad uh, substitution. But when you switch to descending mode, you will see that it, it turns to a green one. And for example, this substitution changed the result from lost to won. And the result before match, before substitution was won by zero. And after substitution, the result changed to two by one. And again, the minutes of the substitution and overall evaluation number and here. Bayern scored two goals after this substitution and two of them scored immediately. So it's a representative for a, of a good substitution. Again, the more you scroll down, the less overall evaluation number you see. And that was the overall performance option. The next part is 15 minutes time spent. As I told you, I divided each match into 6 15 minutes periods. And now we want to see the overall trend of goals scored and received by Bayern Munich in these periods from 2013 to 2021. Here we have three different modes for representing our charts. One of them is a scored mode. In a scored mode, we have six charts, and each chart is related to a particular period. Here we have two axes. The x axis represents the season, but y axis represents the number of goals, meaning that in 2013, Bayern Munich scored. 11 goals in the first 15 minutes of the match, in the first period. And this number had some fluctuations. And finally, 
breach to 11 number of goals in the last season and also you can see the trend the trend of scored goals for the last 15 minutes of the match and we have the same functionality for the received goals and again you have six charts but here the chart represents the number of goals Bayern Munich received in each period through the eight seasons and also we have the compare mode uh, here instead of six charts you have 12 charts and you can compare the results of the chart together because uh, the, um, they are coupled and meaning that the first chart is related to scored goals the second chart is related to received goals for the same period and that was for the goals distribution and 50 minutes time spans the final part of project is related to substitutions similar to overall performance page again we have sorted substitutions and here you can filter the substitutions based on the season number for example you can choose this season number and get the results which are the substitutions in this season again you have two different modes ascending which you have the worst substitution in top of the list while in the descending mode you have the best substitutions in the top of the list you have the same functionalities you can read the opponent's name you can have the auto-generated text based on the events happened after substitution and uh, some other basic information about uh, each substitutions and it was the last part of the project.